Hello everybody and welcome to a quick look at Minecraft 14 W04A which is this week's snapshot. There's probably going to be a bug fix update soon but the bugs don't really affect this video. So this this um this snapshot is a little more focused once again at map makers more than at actual gameplay features for regular players. But regardless there's some things as you can see here well, first off, you can now place buttons on the top and bottom of anything, almost, which I think is highly useful. Because, yeah, buttons are much less limited now. And also, as you can see here, you can use comparators to check the contents of an item frame. No item, no power, just an item sitting there is one. And then... Another big change is you can now rotate items 45 degrees instead of 90 degrees. And each rotation you do from the default adds one more power. So you go along until you get to the max power one, which goes all the way out here. So you can use these for all sorts of combination locks and puzzles and things. I'm sure we'll see a lot of that in maps in the coming uh, future, once this update is official. And outside of that, let's make it day again, first off. There we go. So yeah, that's mostly it for gameplay that actually affects single player, but there's also this, which is something pretty nice, is now you can make golems by using a dispenser to place the pumpkin, or for a wither, the wither hats. Uh oh Oh man. <laughs> that's uh that's something I've never seen before. Ooh. Well, let's uh kill these off. That's just using the old thing that we saw in the last weeks, I believe. And also one thing I would like to note is for a type, you have to use the uh, save ID of the entity rather than the actual name. So it's snowman instead of snow golem, and villager golem instead of iron golem, and wither boss. And the easiest way to get these is you just go on the uh, Minecraft wiki and you go to the mobs page and it will say save ID. What is going on here? Oh, I killed the wither. So yeah, that's another new thing they've added. Also, something we kind of probably saw coming after last week is now you can actually make moss stone, which has been a long time coming. It's finally not a rare item, so you can use it decoratively without running out. Very happy to see that. Another little thing that we have, which is completely logical and I don't know why it hadn't happened before, is now dead bushes are flammable. So fire can spread on them. It's just, why not? And also, this is an update to something we saw last week. They've updated the replacement for fill and stuff. So now you can focus it on one thing. So as you can see down there, I've got stone. And if I do that, it turns to dirt. Do that, turns to stone because it's only replacing this one. Um, what does this one do? Which one is which? Okay, so this is the one, this one makes stone, so it's, it places stone by replacing only dirt. And then this one undoes that. So that's really fancy, and just to show you, um, oh, let me get some dirt down there. Okay, that was fast. But yeah, so, see now that that one was dirt, it got replaced. When it was grass, it didn't. And the glass in the middle didn't get replaced either. So yeah, that is that. So this is really becoming very world edity. And also one last thing that actually does affect single player. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to find any evidence of it. Where did my villagers go? Oh, well, we'll just plant some new ones here. See if we can get any to do what they're supposed to do. Because what happens is sometimes villagers can harvest and replant um, stuff. 
but it's somewhat hard to get them to do it, but you can see evidence of them already doing it. That music is pretty loud. Oh well. Well, I'm not sure if we're going to get to see that in this short of an episode. Whatever makes them do it is a bit random. Oh, look at that. We got a baby villager. I must have accidentally made him. Well, anyway, basically they just walk up to it, break it, and then replant it. You don't really need to see that. But here's another little map maker thing. Let me first turn off command block output. Now, that basically particle, it puts a heart next to every villager. A bunch of them, actually. Seven of them. And this one, if this guy would go away... That does that, which is basically just that without the selector for an entity. 200 times, and basically how this works ah, is you have all those options and you use it like that. So you can do all sorts of things with this. I'm sure it will be used for a lot of great effects in the future. And um, other things that I can't really show off, let's see. Oh, one thing I can show off is the F3 screen. Notice how X is bold. Well, now Z is bold. And it doesn't do Y, I guess. But yeah, it'll tell you if you were looking at X or Z. And also, you might notice this weird little thing in the middle of the screen that's just an axis indicator or something like that. I'm not sure what they really use that for, but it's there. Now, anything else? Um, oh yes, uh, the looting enchantment now boosts your chances of rare loot by 1% every time. But there is a bit of a glitch right now where it basically, you will get 100% drops every time. And anything else? Bug fixes. Oh yes, there was one bug we saw where this wood and my previous episode had burned out from the lava. They fixed that. Um, oh, they also fixed uh, invisibility potions so that mobs can never see you when you're invisible. Well, maybe not never. I think if you bump into them, they can. But it, you, there was a glitch where they could just see you no matter what. And that kind of made invisibility pointless. And... Uh, yeah, there's, there's quite a few bug fixes. I won't list them all. You can always check out the changelog yourself. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And I believe that is it for this update. It's too bad we couldn't see any of the villagers, but they are a bit shy. So yeah, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more and comment if you have anything to say. I'm sure there's probably a few things that we haven't found yet in this update, so make sure to comment if you find out about them, or I might add them in annotations if they're important. And I will see you in the next episode.